What is up you guys? So what do you do if you have a lunch break and you want to take some stock photos but you have nothing to photograph? Well, if you had a model it would be a different story. Well, have no worries. You can actually use yourself as a model. This is Nicole Glass and in today's video I'm going to be using myself as my own stock photography supermodel to take some commercial images. Sometimes when you want to use a model for stock photography you get a lot of worried people. Some people just don't want their photos to end up on the internet. Other people want to get paid for it, especially if you hire a professional model. And some people are just simply unreliable and will never actually get around to scheduling something with you and you could be waiting forever for them to be free and it just won't happen. So when in doubt, use yourself. You can definitely upload photos of yourself to stock photography platforms. On Shutterstock, for example, you can sign your own model release. All you need to do is sign the release form as the photographer and as the model. Then you will need a witness to sign that form and the witness doesn't actually have to be present when you're taking photos, the witness just has to be there while the form is being signed by the photographer and the model, which is both you. So before you start taking photos of yourself, make sure you have no logos or brand names on your clothing or any of the objects that you're using. If you do have them, don't worry, you can edit them out in Photoshop, but it's just a lot more work, so it will save you some time if you choose the proper clothing, unbranded clothing that will not cause you too much Photoshop work. Next, look around your space and see what you can use as props. Something to make your photos more interesting. In my case, I don't have a whole lot of props to work with right now, but I'll look around and see what I can find in my office. So let's just take a few photos. Okay, so these were just a few simple photos that I took in like a 15 minute time period. Now, there's several ways that you can do this. You can use the self timer on your camera or on your phone to take some photos of yourself or you can use a remote control which will usually work with DSLR cameras. Place your camera on a tripod, a table, a stack of books, whatever you've got and pose yourself in front of the camera. If you have a newer camera, however, you might have an even easier way to take photos of yourself. Personally, I use the Canon 5D Mark IV, which can connect to my phone via Wi-Fi. After I connect the camera to my phone, I can then open the Canon app and go to live remote shooting and actually control the camera from my phone. This is super convenient because I can actually adjust the focus and see how the photo is going to look before I take it. But of course, if I'm controlling the camera from my phone, the phone is gonna be in the photo, right? Well, not necessarily. If I use the two second or 10 second timer feature on the camera, I can actually take the photo with my phone, then throw the phone across the room. Well, I don't have to throw it. I can slide the phone out of the photo and I can usually do that in under two seconds and get the shot that I want without my phone in the photo. Or if you're really skillful, you can try to hide the phone by putting it behind your back and taking the photo that way, which might work if you don't need your hands in the photo. Anyways, the ability to control your camera from your phone is super convenient because you don't have to keep running back and forth to see if you're in the frame and to see if the focus is right. So there's a few ways that you can monetize yourself. Obviously, you can take photos of yourself doing different things, holding different items, doing an activity of some sort. The more creative you can get, the better because as you all know, Shutterstock is a super competitive platform. But if you don't want to upload your own face on Shutterstock, that's fine. You can use your hands and your feet and photograph yourself in positions where you actually don't show your face. You can have your hand holding something or photograph close-ups of your body parts. And if you haven't seen it already, take a look at the video linked below in which I talk about how I sold a photo of my toe for $101. It can happen. So before you say, I have nothing to photograph, don't discredit the photos that you can take of yourself. So let me know, have you actually sold photos of yourself on Shutterstock and how did it go? I'm really curious to hear your stories. Let me know in the comments below. So that's it for today. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next video. Take care.